Hi guys, so this little video right now is just me announcing the winners to my 5,000 subscriber count giveaway. I told you guys that I would be choosing five winners for this because I hit 5,000. So without further ado, here are the winners. Alrighty, first winner. Second winner. Third winner. Fourth winner. And the last winner. Here we go. Thank you to all of you who entered and for all of you for always showing all of your support. This video was originally going to be a Q&A and I was going to answer your guys' questions that you asked when you entered the giveaway and I realized so many people asked so many great questions that this video would be crazy long if I answered all of them and I would love to answer all of them but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the questions that the winners asked, I'm going to answer those questions and then if you guys are interested I did do a Q&A when I hit a thousand subscribers and I think if you are like actually really interested in getting to know more about me. I answer a lot of the questions there because there was some some overlap, but let's be real, most people probably just wanted to enter <laughs> to possibly win a book, so I don't think that's the end of the world for a lot of you guys. Anyway, getting to the questions that the winners asked, Leah K asked three questions. The first is, if you could travel to the world or setting of any book, where would you go? and why and honestly I would most certainly die in the worlds of the books I read because I love fantasy and they're always very violent and there's always lots of killing and scheming and things like that and I just I wouldn't I would not make it so I think this is gonna be kind of a silly answer but the book Heartless before some things go south because it's a villain origin story uh, the main character is a baker and I always have a sweet tooth, so I'd go there so she could bake me some stuff. Leah's second question is, what cool skill from a fantasy book would you most like to have? And I don't know if I've uh, mentioned this to you guys before, I love Mistborn, <laughs> so I, I would love to be a Mistborn. And on a side note, if they ever actually do end up making some kind of adaptation of Mistborn, can I please play Vin because I love her? so much. And lastly, Leah's third question is, how do you hope fantasy novels will evolve in the future or are you happy with them staying like the classics? And I think that that's such an interesting question because there's definitely a big difference between the fantasy books from back in the day and fantasy books now. The more character driven it could be, in my opinion, the better. The second winner, um, Scott, he didn't ask a question, he just said something nice. The third winner, who I believe's name is pronounced Aline, I'm sorry if that's not how you say your name, but Aline asked, were you always a reader or did you start reading later in life? I would say I've kind of always been a reader. I've always been a fan of stories. So when my sister and I were kids, my sister and I are five years apart, she ne five years apart and she never wanted to play with me <laughs> because I was like her like dumb little sister, right? So we had the one thing that she would play with me though with was these little like puppy figurines. They were called puppies in my pocket and they were like these tiny little dogs and there's like different breeds or whatever and like we would play with those and as a kid I would always have like all these stories. I was like okay I think that puppy is gonna be friends with that puppy but then and then I would just have like all these like dramas going on and my sister's like this is dumb I don't want to play with you anymore. But anyway I think that that kind of morphed into me loving stories in general. So I did enjoy reading. When I didn't like a book I was reading, I was like, ugh, like I, I'm not the kind of reader that gets through everything really quickly just because it's a book. If I'm not enjoying it, I don't take it in as much. But uh, I've always loved books and I've always loved video games, some of my favorite stories and some of my inspirations for writing and getting into books has come through video games and then of course, I like movies and TV shows. The next winner, Faith, also asked multiple questions, so uh, they're making up for you, Scott, who didn't ask questions. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but anyway, Faith, uh, her first thing, she says, I wanna know if you play Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder role-playing games, because she says that she's a female and she's been playing for 21 years, 
Uh, and to answer that, I, I've never gotten into Dungeons and Dragons. Not because I'm like, that's like next level nerd. Not anything like that. I do not bash people who like that kind of stuff. I've just never had the opportunity to get into it. I am by far the geekiest person in my family. Like my mom is like this beautiful like Cuban goddess. Like I don't have any, I, I have no idea how she like birthed me, this like weirdo. And then my dad is the most old fashioned like country guy ever. He's a lot older to have a daughter my age because there's a huge age difference between my parents. And so uh, I just don't, I never had anybody to get me into that kind of stuff. Um, but I will say, I mentioned this a little bit ago, I love video games. I love role-playing video games like Final Fantasy. Oh my gosh, I love Final Fantasy. Faith's next question is, what do you love about booktubing and what do you hate? And I, I love, I love booktube pretty much for everything. I really love getting to talk to you guys. I really love just getting to geek out over books. As far as what I hate about booktube, for the most part, I find booktube to be one of the nicest, healthiest online communities of people. But I would say I get a little bummed out when a book clearly is starting to get more popular and more people are starting to like it and then the hipster thing comes in and all of a sudden it becomes cool not to like it. Anyway, getting back into the positive stuff, Faith's last question is, have you and your hubby, Buddy Red, any books and we've we've not read too much at the same time we do end up telling each other if there's a book we really love uh, we'll be like hey you like eventually have to read this and like you have to read this <laughs> so we've done that the one time we tried to to really buddy read while we were dating we uh, were gonna be apart for a little bit I don't remember why but we were fairly new into our relationship and we thought it'd be fun to go to the bookstore and each buy a copy of a book and then that way we could read about we could read the book and then text each other about it. And we ended up both being like, uh, I don't know that I love this book. And it was like hard to say because we didn't know each other that well yet. The last winner, Akuda, Akuda, I'm not sure how to say their name so good. I'm really sorry if I said your name wrong, but they asked, uh, do I prefer eBooks or physical books? And I hands down prefer, prefer physical books. I stare at screens enough as it is. Her other question is, are you interested in reading a book that's not in English, like the authors from another country, originally a foreign country. And I mean, you guys know I love Witcher and those are originally in Polish. There is this other book that I really wanna read and I just haven't gotten it yet. It's called Max. It's about these two boys in World War II era and one of them was, was kind of told all these Nazi things and the other is, I believe, Jewish and then I think they're, they're friends, but obviously there's there's tension. That's it though for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway winners and sort of kind of Q&A. Thank you again to everybody who entered. Thank you guys all of you for your constant support. You are all so, so kind to me. And also as today is Valentine's Day, I just wanna say happy Valentine's to all of you guys. You are all my bookish Valentine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.